Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here. I wanted to just come on and share a video about um, business basics right now. Um, if you're watching this later on, um, I'm recording this during the pandemic, the coronavirus time when we're all stuck in our houses. And it's been a big change for some entrepreneurs and business owners, as well as people who have jobs and have to work from home. Some of you are creating new businesses because wow, it's kind of nice not having a commute. It's kind of nice not going into work every day, right? So I'd love to help you if, if that's you and you're looking to start up a new business. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, traditional just business basics in general because so many people with uh, before this crisis hit were getting kind of away from the basic business basics. Uh, of what really makes a consistent money-making business. Now that's my goal with clients, is to help you make a consistent revenue-generating business model for yourself, whether you're a, a coach, a consultant, a spa owner, a roofing company, a massage therapist, a shamanic healer, a network marketer, um, a speaker, an author, it doesn't matter what you do or what you want to do. Uh, we can create a consistent revenue-generating business model for you, with you, um, and I have a, a talk that I usually give, which I'm not going to do here because it's a little bit longer, but it's eight secrets to a consistent money-making business model. And I usually give these out of my talks and I'm do, I do them all the time. It's my signature talk. And, uh, but really, I mean, there's some key things, you know, in looking back at the almost 18 years that I've been in business, what are the key things that have really made me so successful in revenue gener generating revenue every single month and not having to stress about paying my bills now what are the key things well a lot of them have to do with business basics and I say they're basics because you don't have to learn sometimes a new skill to have a sales conversation although sometimes you do have to have uh, some key ideas on transitioning the wording a little bit better in a sales conversation so we have to reach a lot more people these days with the internet uh, if you're doing things online, if you want to drive traffic to your website and make money while you sleep, then you have to talk with a lot more people in order to get the numbers there so that they actually, the right number of people actually buy your stuff or come to a call with you. Um, so we have to do a lot more than we normally, we used to have to do. We used to just be able to, you know, go to a regular net networking event of some sort Meet a few people, a couple people might be interested, we'd sell them something and boom, it would be easy, right? But now we have to do a lot more, a lot of different things to run our business more successfully. And I do have trainings on a lot of those different things on my website. If you go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com, you'll see on the homepage, I have some upcoming trainings that you can attend live or that just got recorded. Uh, you can go to the products and programs, products page or the coaching page to get some other trainings. You can go to the resources page, which has a free trainings page under it with like seven different trainings you can get about doing a website, uh, writing a book, becoming a speaker, knowing your vision, uh, your marketing strategy, all those different things are there for you. So those are there for you. But the basics, the business basics is, is relationships. Um, everything comes down to relationships, you guys. Whether, uh, one of the things I like to teach about um, social media, for example, let's use social media as an example. And I say this all the time, you got to think of social media as a big networking event. Okay, most of you who are watching this have been to a networking event, a business event where you walk into a room and you know some people, you don't know some people, and you walk up to people that you don't know, everybody has name tags on, right? And you say, Oh, hi, John, I'm Katrina, what do you do? Tell me more. Right? And then John tells you a little bit about what he does. He tells you his spiel, 60 second commercial. And then he says, tell me, what do you do? And then I tell him my 60 second commercial. And then we kind of determine, okay, do I need to know more about John? Should I take, should I schedule a follow up call with John to maybe get to know him more? Could my clients use John's services? Could he use my services? Uh, does he have, and nowadays you could say, well, does John have a podcast? I can be a guest on. Is John a good speaker? Would I like to have him speak to my group? You think of all these different ways, right? That you could potentially uh, collaborate or do business to each other, refer business to each other. It's just the nature of being in business is you think okay how can i help this person who do i need who do i know that john needs to know 
right? It's like being in a networking event, but a lot of time, but you're not treating necessarily social media as a big networking event. You go into, you can just go to social media and whoever pops up in your news feed, you know, you're either going to know them really well, or you're going to be like, who is that person again? I know we're friends or I'm following them, but I don't really know them that much. So you send them a private message. You go to their about page, even get their phone number, go to their website, get their phone number, give them a call. Hey, I saw you on Facebook today. And I was just curious um, if you work with this kind of person or if, this is your thing. Maybe we should have a call sometime and get to know each other and see how we can help each other. Right? I mean, honestly, if you say that to people, they're going to be blown away. And of course, they're going to want to schedule more calls with you. So they're, you're building that relationship with them. You're getting to know one another. And then you can decide if or how you can help each other from there and maybe even take it to a sales conversation. Maybe they're interested in what you have to offer. Um, so thinking about how you're doing social media a little bit differently, like it's a big networking event and everybody wants to talk to you, right? You go to a networking event, someone comes up to you and says, hi Katrina, you know, and maybe they hand you your, their business card, but they wouldn't hand you their business card and then walk away, right? You're not going to do that to somebody. That's like friend requesting somebody and not sending them a private message, <laughs> right? That's like saying, Hey, poke, I'm going to poke you. Remember there used to be a poke button on Facebook. <laughs> you could poke people and you're like, why did you poke me? Why don't you send me a message or something? <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, start the conversation with people, I think. And then, um, so business basics is thinking of, of people like uh, want to be connected. They want to connect. They want to build relationships. So how can you start a conversation? Starting conversations, you guys, is the business basic I'm talking about here, whether it's on social media, whether it's out in person, whether you're on a call with like 40 people on Zoom, uh, it doesn't matter. Like start a conversation in the chat room. Start a, like say, raise your hand and say, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I'd love to have a call with anybody who's interested, whoever, whoever talks to entrepreneurs, I'd love to have a collaboration call to get to know each other you know, 10 of the 40 people might say, oh, email me, I'd love to have a call. 10 of those 40 people in a call, two of them could become a client, but you don't know until you ask and you, t and you start building that, that connection and those relationships. So think about marketing and building your business as having a lot more conversations. So how can you have a lot more conversations? How can you start really nurturing those relationships. And I get that this stuff is more of a one-on-one, -on -one, like touch you, touch you, send you a message, send you a message. And it is harder to leverage yourself these days with that approach, but that's the approach that's working, frankly. For most people, that's the approach that's working. The big, you know, if you have thousands of dollars to spend, then great. Put the Facebook ad out there. <laughs> but if you don't, don't just spend 20, 30 bucks. It's not going to get you anywhere, right? Don't try new fangled marketing strategies and use the basics, right? The things that are still working, direct mail. I'm getting ready to send some note cards to somebody as a thank you, a birthday card with a gift card in it. Another birthday card is going out. Um, yesterday I sent two books to somebody in the mail. I'm telling you people, you've got to send mail, 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 mail. You've got to send stuff in the mail. Go buy a roll of stamps do, 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 and use them. <laughs> use the roll of stamps, you guys. I have note cards in my desk right here. Look at all these different note cards. Look, I have a stack of different note cards hearts on them. I've got uh, flowers. I've got polka dots. I've got yay with glitzy glam. I've got all kinds of different cards here. Um, that if I'm communicating with somebody and I have a conversation with somebody, I'm like, oh, I need to send them a quick card. Pull it out real quick, write it, put my stamp on it, and away it goes to the mail within a day. Okay? You have to do the business basics. Communicating in the mail is going to make you stand out now more than ever because no one's doing it. No one's doing it except you and me. <laughs> right? And anybody who watches this that actually takes action. And I guarantee you there's going to be the hundreds of people who watch this video and maybe one or two of you will actually do this. And that's a shame because I'm telling you what works. You won't take the time. All right. 
in addition to that, you got to schedule these phone calls. You got to do these phone calls. And yeah, if you're making a million dollars already in your business, then you may not need to do these things. But if you're making under $100,000 or even a little over $100,000 right now, you still may want to do all of these business basics. You want to send an email, write an article, put it on your blog, uh, share it out with some other uh, on social media. You might want to do a video like this and share your good, share your tips and information. I just got on, so what am I going to share today? Mm, business basics. Okay, I just made it up. Uh, I mean, I talk about this stuff all the time, so I didn't have to have an outline. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to stress about what I was going to talk about. I'm just going to talk about business basics. What is working right now? I'm telling you, it's building relationships, but it's talking to more people. You, if you're not making the money you want to make, you're not talking to enough people and or they're not paying attention to the things you are doing so you have to do things in different ways so if they're not paying attention to posting on social media posting on social media posting on social media then er, you have to change it up and send a private message and send something in the mail and pick up the phone so they'll pay attention right if they're not paying attention to your email newsletters and email newsletters and you get 10 percent open rate guess what do a promotion and uh, well, if you don't have their mailing addresses and phone numbers, which you need to get so you can call them and mail to them, uh, do a promotion where it's like, hey, I'm going to give you this free book. If you, I'll send you a free book. Just give me $2 for the shipping and your mailing address, right? Send out a bunch of books, right? Or, hey, I've got something. Uh, I'm going to send you this free ebook or free whatever piece of paper, whatever checklist, something checklist. I'm going to send it in the mail to you. Just give me your mailing address, right? Or if uh, the first 10 people who give me their phone number and their mailing address, I'm going to schedule a call and give you a free coaching session, right? So start getting people's information so that you can touch them in other ways other than just email or hoping that they see your Facebook post, please, okay? Then other business basics include speaking. This is speaking, just creating a video on myself on the fly, that is speaking. Creating your own Zoom calls and trainings is speaking. Getting speaking gigs, of course, and guests on podcasts and things, that's speaking. Start thinking of where you can speak more often. How can you do it weekly? How can you do it twice a week? What can you do to really get more in front of more people in more ways? That's the leverage thing. So if I can speak to 40 people or if 100 people watch this video, maybe 1,000 people watch this video, hopefully a good percentage of you will actually do something about it. Come to my website, grab a free thing, go from the free thing to a call with me or get into my International Entrepreneur Network for $7 a month, right? I've got a really low price thing. Buy one of my books, whatever it is. Take the next step do something. Stop complaining that you're not making money and you don't know what to do or the things you are doing aren't working. Stop complaining about it and do something about it. I could tell you in 30 minutes or less, three or four things that you could do to make more money if I could just get my hands on you. If I could just get you into a conversation, <laughs> seriously. And I'm happy to do that. But so many of you are afraid, of, for whatever reason, afraid I'm going to sell you into this $20,000 program. Guess what? I don't want you in the $20,000 program. Unless you're the perfect fit and you are so excited to be there, I don't want you in that program. I am not gonna sell you into that program. Trust me, I'm not. You know, like literally, I will not. That's okay. I am not gonna force you. I'm not gonna trick you. I'm not gonna trick you into buying something you don't need. I don't want you buying something you don't need, whether it's from me or somebody else. I wanna buy, you, I want you to buy and invest in things, only the things you need. And honestly, in the order of importance that you need them, right? If you were just starting in business right now, I would not be selling you an opportunity to do your own podcast because you have no following, no list, nobody's watching you. You don't even know probably your whole brand or anything yet. Why would I want you to start a podcast? If I was selling that to you and you were thinking about buying it, that'd be that's a horrible person. Like, I'm sorry, but it is wrong to sell people things when they're not ready for the thing, right? There's, it's just wrong in my opinion. And I guess somebody could make a case that a podcast will help you build your list, but it is not, if you need to make money right now and you are just starting out, you don't have a following. That is not the business model for you. That is not something you should be doing. 
is a podcast great? A hundred percent. Yes. But in order of importance of what you need to do to build a successful money-making business first. Okay. Now there's various scenarios and various situations that different people are going to be in. And that advice isn't good for everybody. Um, if you're seasoned in business, right? I'm not going to tell you to, uh, if you're already speaking in your business, I'm not going to talk to you about selling you a speaker sheet. I have people that email me and say, oh, I'm going to help you with your marketing and your sales. And I'm like, did you even look at my website? Do you even know what I do? Like, you're obviously spamming me and you haven't looked and see who I am. You're just sending random emails out uh, with your services. That's just ridiculous. Don't do that, right? Know who you're talking to and make sure that they're in the, uh, somebody that's primed for your products and programs and services. All right. So I know there's so much more to it. What do you put in the direct mail? If, even if you just said, oh my God, you're the best. Thank you for talking to me. I loved meeting you. We should connect on the phone soon, or I want to learn more about you. Let's see how we can refer business to each other. You stick your business card in it and you write it off and you mail it off. Do it, you guys. Do it, do it, do it. I challenge you to send something in the mail every single day. Do it every day, or do it once a week. Do 10 things. Send 10 people something in the mail. Every single week, I'm telling you, it could make a huge difference in your bottom line as well as uh, just your demeanor because you're just sharing more love with the world. So, all right, this is Katrina Sawa from jumpstartyourmarketing.com signing off. And yes, you sure may join my international entrepreneur network. It is such an easy way to get started getting more help and support about your business. It's $7 a month, no joke. You can cancel any time. You can come and pay $7 and come to two or three calls a month, get huge major coaching and, and suggestions for your business and cancel. If you do that, that's fine. I don't think you want to. <laughs> you, if you can come to a, when you come to a call, you won't want to cancel for $7 a month. Trust me. If you go to I Entrepreneur Network, the letter I Entrepreneur Network.com, you can read all about it and sign up. Honestly, I, we have over 130 members right now. I'm look, my goal is to get to a thousand by the end of 2020. Help me out here. Share the love. If you like my videos, please share it. Please share the video. Please uh, sign up for the thing, but and come to the call. You have to get interactive because you'll probably get clients from the call, depending on what you sell. That's the whole point is to network, follow up, make sales, get clients, help each other. That's the whole point. So, all right. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.